Only some carry the willpower and dedication to truly transform and glow up to be the best version of themselves. Being an unattractive man in today's society comes with its price, getting picked on, being called names, and so forth. However, following the simple steps we run you through in today's video will make sure that you glow up just like Will Poulter, who went from being called the eyebrow guy due to his rather unusually shaped eyebrows, to now being praised for his unbelievable transformation as seen in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. As well, like the guns. I'm a little bit like, so can I touch? So hang tight and pay close attention to the steps you must follow in order to transform yourself for the better. The importance of physical appearance. Will Poulter's early days in Hollywood put him in a vulnerable position where online forums were filled with comments on his appearance. At the time, netizens found Will's facial features and body size to be rather whimsical, with comments stating that he was one of the ugliest actors in Hollywood. Now, you must be wondering, why on earth did so many people specifically point out Will's appearance? There are thousands of Hollywood stars out there, but why Will? The answer lies in the importance of physical appearance. Get this straight. You could be the smartest, most intellectual man in the room, but if your physical presentation does not match up, you'll be ignored and nobody will ever know how intelligent you are. So it all boils down to physical appearance and we're about to discuss some of the most important steps that you must take in order to transform your appearance. Just a quick note before we dive in, Will was 21 years old when he starred in We're The Millers. This was when people pointed out his eyebrows and gave him the nickname. Now that he's arguably had one of the best glow ups out there, people are quick to speculate that it happened thanks to puberty, which is certainly not the case. So even if you're way past puberty, nothing can stop you from leveling up. Number one, grow out your hair. If you're looking to glow up like Will Poulter, the first step is to grow out your hair, but don't just let it grow all willy nilly. You want to aim for the perfect balance of messy and styled, like you just got out of bed, but still look amazing. Back when Will starred in We're the Millers, he sported short hair that was styled into a foul hawk or frohawk. A buzz cut like that insinuates your features, meaning that if you're already handsome and attractive, it'll bring out those features. On the contrary, if you've got a bigger forehead and you go for a buzz cut, best believe you'll end up in a mess. So your best bet would be to grow out your hair up top and then style it into half curtains, similar to what Will has done. This hairstyle will soften up your facial features to where you look a ton more attractive. It's as simple as that. We can see this hairstyle in action in Will's latest movie, where we also notice that he has subtle highlights in his hair. Highlights boost your overall attractiveness as they add depth and dimension to your hair, creating a multi-tonal effect that can complement your skin tone and facial features. They can also help to brighten up your complexion and make your eyes pop. When done correctly, highlights end up enhancing your natural beauty and giving you a fresh, youthful look. There's one more element to this, facial hair. A very pivotal step Will took in order to significantly enhance his physical attractiveness was growing out his facial hair. This simple step can make a man more attractive in several ways. First, it can help to define and accentuate the contours of your face, creating a more chiseled and masculine appearance. A well-groomed beard or mustache can also add depth and texture to a man's look, giving you a more rugged and mature vibe. In fact, something that not too many people know is that facial hair can create a sense of mystery and intrigue, as it can also be used to conceal or highlight certain features depending on how it's styled. It's worth noting though that this can simply be a matter of personal preference and many people find the look of a well-maintained beard or mustache to be incredibly attractive and alluring. Be sure to test it out and try it yourself. It's very likely that you'll look a ton better. Number two, get tanned. The second step and a rather important one at that is to get a tan. Obviously, this step is not the be all and end all for everyone. It varies from skin tone to skin tone. But before you skip to the next step, thinking that you don't need one, hear me out. If you've got a skin tone similar to that of Will Poulter's, this step is a game changer. If you compare 2013 Will Poulter to 2023 Will Poulter, you'll notice that his skin has gone from a palish white to a more golden and bronze tone. This plays a huge role in significantly boosting his attractiveness and overall appearance. The thing is, a tan can give the appearance of healthy, glowing skin and can help to even out skin tone and reduce the appearance of blemishes or imperfections. Additionally, a tan can also enhance certain features, such as the eyes or teeth, by creating contrast and making them stand out. For context, the idea that a tan is attractive is actually a societal construct that has developed over time. Historically, having a tan was associated with being outdoors and engaging in physical activities, such as farming or playing sports, which were considered attractive qualities in a particular 
potential mate. Additionally, a tan was seen as a sign of wealth and status, as it was often associated with leisure activities such as beach vacations. However, it's worth pointing out that excessive exposure to the sun can also have harmful effects on the skin, including an increased risk of skin cancer and premature aging. So if you're looking to achieve a similar glow to Will, it's important to do so safely and responsibly. This can include wearing sunscreen with a high SPF and reapplying it regularly, avoiding prolonged exposure to the sun during peak hours, and using self-tanning products or spray tans as a safer alternative to traditional tanning methods. Number three, hit the gym. You probably saw this one coming, and trust me, this might as well be the most important step of all. Let's compare Will Poulter's two different stages once again. In We're the Millers, Will has an unathletic build and a poor posture, both of which immediately destroyed his physical attractiveness. Carrying an unathletic build can be detrimental to your overall health and well-being. Living a sedentary lifestyle and not engaging in regular physical activity can lead to weight gain and an increased risk of health problems such as heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. In addition, to the physical health risks, an unathletic build can also lead to a lack of confidence and self-esteem, which can negatively impact your personal and professional life. Incorporating regular exercise and physical activity into your routine can help to improve your overall health, boost your mood, and dramatically increase how attractive you look. Fast forward several years, Will Poulter announced his biggest role yet, acting as Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The Marvel role unsurprisingly required him to bulk up physically, and social media quickly highlighted his fabulous glow up. Fans just couldn't help themselves from acknowledging his unbelievable transformation. In fact, some even compared the now 28 year old actor to other established Hollywood stars, including Chris Hemsworth. And guess what? The most significant glow up came from his body transformation. Will went from being a skinny fat kid to now donning a Herculean and muscular physique. Even though he has been gradually adding muscle over the years, his peak physique really came under the spotlight in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, it is a gradual process, hitting the gym consistently, slowly increasing the intensity, and maintaining a good diet, but it's a process that pays off better than anything else. Now's a good time to highlight the significance of good posture when it comes to physical attractiveness. Having a great posture not only aims to align your spine and reduce strain on your muscles and joints, but also heavily boosts your confidence. Having your chest out, shoulders by your side, standing up straight, all help boost your self-esteem. And when your self-esteem is skyrocketing, the aura you give off ultimately makes you more attractive. A man slouching with his chin tucked in will rarely ever be approached by a female interested in speaking to him. It gives off a sluggish vibe that nobody likes. Dr. Benjamin Carraway, Will Poulter's chiropractor and physiotherapist, revealed the secrets to how he helped Will get in the best shape of his life and correct his posture completely. Sit tight, because we're about to uncover some of the most important techniques for leveling up your physique. Before even hitting the gym, Dr. Carraway introduced Will to proprioceptive training. Now, don't be intimidated by the complexity of the phrase. Proprioceptive training essentially revolves around the body's sixth sense, how you hold an object, where you place your feet, and where your hips are before you begin to lift. You basically learn how to use your body as an object with your body. Simple as that. You must have a strong mind-body connection before you go all out in the gym. Make sure to understand the physics behind weightlifting, study the diet required to train in an optimal manner, and master your form. Next, Will adopted an exercise split that focuses on push, pull, and leg exercises. According to Dr. Carraway, for each session you would aim to complete four to five sets of 10 to 15 reps of each exercise, while being mindful and intentional with your movements. It's important to switch up the exercises regularly to keep your body challenged and avoid hitting plateaus in your progress. Additionally, dedicate at least a third of each session to calisthenics, such as dead hanging and slow pull-ups in 10 stages, to build mind-body connections and improve overall strength and endurance. By adopting this exercise split, you will develop a well-rounded and effective routine that Will Poulter himself made use of, so it's a tried and tested routine. But when it comes to posture, Will adopted the mindset of a peaceful ruler. Throughout history, rulers have been depicted as standing tall and confident, with their necks exposed to show strength and fearlessness. By standing tall with your neck exposed, you can convey a strong and confident presence that commands respect and attention. This primal instinct can be reinforced through practicing standing tall with engaged muscles, which sends positive signals to the brain and reinforces good posture. This mindset and practice can be particularly helpful for developing a regal and commanding presence 
which can be used in many aspects of life, whether it's personal or professional settings. If Will Poulter can go from a rather unattractive wimpy kid to now being crowned as one of the most attractive men, what's stopping you from glowing up just the way he did? We've outlined the three major steps Will took to completely transform himself, and now it's your turn. Grow out your hair, get a nice subtle tan, and lift some weights consistently. Now's the time to do it. If you're committed to personal growth and striving to become the best version of yourself, be sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video. We'd also love to hear about the positive changes you've made in your life. Feel free to leave a comment and share your personal successes with us. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.